known as Ben Kalander, was born on 7th of March 1980 in Lahore. He is the second last among his siblings and lived all his life with his parents. His father was a Sufi poet and belonged to a Kalandari Silsila, which is a Sufi order. Bin Kalandar never dreamed of art when he was a young boy. He had never thought of growing up into a distinctive artist with his own innovative style. In 1999, I started my art career during the drawing classes from Lahore Art Council. At that time, I realized that I should go to any art institution. Therefore, I applied for the National College of Arts for the first time in 2002, and I got admission in 2005. That I was rejected for the four times, and that was my fourth attempt. No one can evolve without falling down. This should not be seen as a failure. What we call failure is not falling down, but staying down, as said by Socrates. Calligraphy helps to control body's energy and channel it towards precise movement. I'm inspired from the landscape, from the dawn, from the music, from the from dhamal, that is spiritual dance in Sufism. Whenever I go around these activities, these things, I think that uh, I should convert all these uh, practices, these activities in, in, my, in my calligraphy. Bin Kalandar just lets things happen instead of planning them beforehand, sometimes waiting, sometimes wandering around until the right moment arrives. It arrives when he feels an unmatchable energy accumulated from the precise time and place. Through a series of wide experiments, new each time, he discovered many techniques that made his work this mature. I have no plan before start the painting. I just have the lines and the idea and the flow in my subconscious. And when I transfer my all these lines from the subconscious to the conscious, then I make a relation between brain, heart and hand. And all these flows, all these lines when convert on the canvas, then at that time my painting speaks with me. It's a silent dialogue between artist and the painting. And that is the perfect time when you understand the language, when you understand the words, when you understand the communication of a painting with you. Just one idea can change your perception. I deconstruct and transform the traditional practices to the contemporary art form. Therefore, you can see all these influences on my calligraphic art. اللہ کے فضل و کرم سے ان پر جو عنایت ہے جس میں وہ اس وقت پاکستان میں ایک بہت مختصر مدت میں جانے پہچانے لگے ہیں اس میں ان کے والد محترم کی دعاؤں کا بھی گہرا اثر ہے اور مجھے یہ خوشی ہے کہ یہ میرا وہ شاگرد ہے کہ جس پر بجا طور پر فخر کیا جا سکتا ہے طاہر بن کلندر نے اپنے فن میں رنگوں کو اور اپنے ایک جداگانہ اسلوب کے ساتھ وہ ایک منفرد مقام حاصل کیا ہے کہ میں سمجھتا ہوں کہ ماضی کے جتنے بھی مصورانہ خطاطی کرنے والے افراد ہیں ان سے یہ بہت آگے نکل گیا ہے اور اس میں اس کی شبانہ روز محنت اس کے اندر ایک تخلیقی پہلو 
جو قدرت نے اسے عطا کیا ہے وہ جا بجا نظر آتا ہے اور اس کا فن جو ہے جو میں نے دیکھا ہے یہ دن بہ دن آگے سے آگے کی طرف جا رہا ہے ابتدان وہی طاہر بن قلدت کہ جس کی ابتدائی مشقوں میں میں دیکھا کرتا تھا کہ اس میں وہ انداز نہیں تھا لیکن بہت جلد قدرت نے اس کو اپنے انوارات سے نوازا اور مجھے یہ کہنے میں کوئی آر نہیں ہے کہ پاکستان میں مصورانہ خطاطی یا اس آرٹسٹانہ خطی مصوری میں طاہر بد کلندر اپنی مثال آپ Bin Kalandar always wanted to break rules. He wants his vision to be broad, without limitation, without any restriction and boundaries. He added a new life to the traditional calligraphy in Pakistan by applying his unique design techniques in each work. I have 10 year experience as a graphic designer from 1999 to 2009. I have drawn a lot of Islamic calendars and Islamic arts in calligraphy. In this experience, I learned a lot to combine the different color palettes, like in uh, the red color with the blue, and the blue with the green, and green with the, the orange. And in these color combinations, I, uh, along with these color combinations, I make a lot of compositions. Kalandar did a one-year diploma in graphic design from College of Arts and Design at the University of Punjab in 2003 and graduated in miniature painting from National College of Arts in 2009. After that, he decided to learn more about calligraphy and completed another one-year diploma in calligraphy from National College of Arts in 2010. In my studies, I learned a lot about the delicacy of strokes, the color combination, and especially the patience. Because for the small sizes, you need a lot of patience to understand the combination of colors and the compositions. And beside that, when I start my calligraphy, I put all these efforts, I put all these observations in my calligraphic art. In my opinion, formal education is very important for an artist and for the painter. But it's my belief that there is no institute who produce the art, but they polish their hidden qualities and their skills that they can express their feelings and their experiences to the audience and to the art lovers. Bid Kalender is a very good student hai in NCA and in College of Art and Design. And this young man is in the Musabru. بلکہ کیلی گرافرس میں ایک نمائندہ فنکار ہے اور اس کے کالج کو ہمارے ملک کو اور ہمیں اس سے بہت زیادہ توقعات وابستہ ہیں اس کے کام میں آپ کو دونوں پہلو ملیں گے ٹریڈیشنل بھی اور ماڈرن بھی اس کی بیک گراؤنڈس جو ہیں وہ بھی دیکھنے کے قابل ہیں اس کے لے آؤٹس جتنی بھی وہ بناتا ہے بڑا مزیدار ہے بندہ تھوڑی دیر کے لیے ضرور گم ہو جاتا ہے میں فیوچر کے لیے اس کے فیوچر کے لیے بہت نیک تمنائیں رکھتا ہوں اللہ تعالیٰ اس کے زور قلم کو اور زیادہ اچھا کرے آئی بلونگ ود مڈل کلاس فیملی ایٹ دیٹ ٹائم ڈیورنگ مائی اسٹڈیز آئی واز آن جاب آئی واز ڈوئنگ مائی جاب ایون تھری پارٹ ٹائم جاب از ون ڈے اینڈ آئی واز ارننگ فرام دا فرام مائی گرافک ڈیزائن پروفیشن اینڈ اسپینڈنگ آل دا منی Uh, to my paintings and people asking me that you that uh, at that time that you were a real artist because uh, you don't care about your clothes you you don't care about your food but you whatever you are going to earn you are spending all those things on the paintings Bin Kalandar did his first solo exhibition at the Himal Art Gallery in 2009 named The Journey in which he played with the tiny details and delicacy of miniature art on his large size calligraphic paintings After that his second solo exhibition was held in Karachi 
by the name of Wisdom in the art scene gallery which made the public of Karachi his die-hard fan. Later, he was already famous among his fellow artists and again in 2011, he exhibited his unique calligraphic approach in Lahore at the Ijaz Gallery with the name of Alif, which was another tremendous winning. By 2012, Bin Kalanda was known internationally after receiving high appreciation for his exhibition in Dubai with the Himayal Art Gallery. In all his exhibitions, most of his work got sold even before the opening of the show. Not only this, Ben Kalanda's work got exhibited a list of times in group exhibitions all around Pakistan. Ben Kalanda, mashallah, is our young artist. He is doing a very good work, and Allah Taala has given him a short time in a very short time. Lahore, his first show was in 2009. When he was in the passport, he was in the Art Gallery. After that, he was in the Ijaz Art Gallery. He was in the Ijaz Art Gallery, and we promote him locally. Recently, his show was in the Masawir. और यहाँ पे भी बहुत अच्छा रिस्पांस है उनका और काफी डिमांड में है काम उनका यहाँ पे जो भी कैलिग्राफी लोग कर रहे हैं नो डाउट मैं सबको डील करता हूँ और हमारे सारे स्पेक्टेबल हैं जितने भी लोग काम कर रहे हैं अगर आप साथ के इनको देखते हैं ये अमर खान साहब हैं ये बाकी लोग हैं और एक अपन स्टाइल इंट्रोड्यूस किया है और ब्राइट कलर के साथ इतना बोल काम जिन्होंने शुरू किया है बिन कलंदर ने उसकी वजह से लोगों ने बहुत अप्रिशिएट किया क्योंकि पहले इस तरह से इतना ब्राइट कलर में काम हो नहीं रहा था इतने स्ट्रॉंग कलर इतने वाइब्रेंट कलर जो ना लोग यूज़ नहीं कर रहे थे जिसकी वजह से लोगों ने बहुत अप्रिशिएट किया और मैं तो उनको देखता हूँ तो मुझे बिल्कुल साथ कहन की नज़ामदस लगती है कि उनको जब मैंने काम करते हुए देखा कुछ डॉक्यूमेंट्रीज़ के अंदर तो बिल्कुल उसी तरह से उसी स्टाइल से वो भी काम करते हैं हमीद के बहुत अच्छा रहेगा और इंशाल्लाह ताला बहुत आगे जाएंगे हमारी दुआएं उनके साथ हैं। um, uh, though you are a very you are a miniature painter, so I would say them that yes, I want to fly in the sky, I want to fly in the air, and that's why I want to create a big painting, a big mural. He started his calligraphic journey by observing the calligraphy paintings of his teacher and mentor, Mr. Javed Iqbal, at his workplace. Mr. Javed Iqbal motivated him to practice calligraphy for the first time. Bin Kalandar is a new addition in Pakistani calligraphic paintings. He blended traditional art with modern thoughts. The designing elements are very impressive in his painting. He achieved his name in a very short tenure while other artists took a longer time. He impressed with his flow of line, different colors, sensibility. He has God-gifted creativity. Bin Kalandar lives a very casual life. He spends most of his time at a studio. His workplace is full of creative elements, paintings and books, as he always tries to get knowledge and inspiration from wherever he finds it. What makes his work so different from other calligraphers is his abstract compositions, not just based on Arabic letters, but it is the reflection of his father's Sufism which one can easily depict in his delicate and narrow lines which tear his own wide and huge formations with hues of bold colours to create his magnificent art piece. People ask me that why my name is Bin Kalandar. It's a very strict story about actually my father was a Sufi poet, he was a Sufi person and um, his name was Ghulam Rasul Kalandar. One day my father t uh, told me that can you put my name on your painting so I decided that I have to write my name as Tahir Bin Kalandar and finally I decided that my name should be the Bin Kalandar. Bin Kalandar means the son of Kalandar. He has been visited all my exhibition, attended all my exhibitions that held in uh, uh, Pakistan, in Lahore, Karachi and especially he has been visited my thesis show in National College of Arts as well. So I'm missing him a lot. I want to dedicate my all work, all work to my father. I do not select a word to ease the formation of my calligraphy, but rather I get lost in it. And while I'm lost in it, it isn't me deciding which stroke goes where, but it is the strokes and the colors that make me move along them on the entire canvas. And in the end, naturally, there is an art piece ready, says Bin Kalandar. During my work, I used to listen to music as well, especially 
the Qawalis of Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan, the Sufi music and the Ghazals. And I think the Qawalis and the Sufi music is a divine power for me for that time. I've been visited abroad in our Dubai Art Fair. I have seen a lot of work. And um, in my US visit, uh, I have been visited the Miami Art District and also visited art museums like Boca Art Museum, uh, Dia Art Foundation Museum, Metropolitan Museum, and the MoMA Art Museum. Especially, uh, I have been visited also the United Kingdom as well. And there, I was in National Art Gallery. At that time, I have been uh, inspired by the modern art and I've been observed deeply the modern art and when I came back to Pakistan I make a blend of the traditional Pakistani art and the modern West art in the shape of my modern calligraphy. I would like to thank my great Allah, the Holy Prophet peace be upon him and especially uh, my spiritual guide that calls Murshid, Hazrat Sayyid Ali Husaini Sarkar, Hazrat Tahir Sinan Sarkar who pray for me a lot for my career, for my future, for my life, for my everything. And without their prayers, I'm not able to draw a single line or single strokes. And that is the life for me.